Democracies thrive on high expectations. Democracies only work when individuals, communities, organisations get together to think about how they want to make the country different, how they want to make it better, and literally lobby for that change. But unfortunately, for years and decades, we've been told that, no, that's what lobbyists do, and that we shouldn't be political. We should kind of leave it to other people to decide what governments should spend more on, who they should tax, what industries to support, what priorities for our country should be. Of course, it's in the interests of those who've already got lots of power to keep ordinary Australians out of these conversations. Each year, the Commonwealth spends around $700 billion in the budget. Who cares about that? We'll just leave it to the lobbyists to talk about what to spend $700 billion on. Who cares if we have AUKUS submarines or tax cuts for millionaires and can't afford to spend money on tackling climate change or supporting women fleeing domestic violence? Well, it's time we stopped listening to these people who are telling us that there's no point getting involved in democracy. There's no point getting involved in politics. There's no point trying to lobby a politician to change their mind and to get more funding for things we care about. It's time that more people got involved. Because what we saw at the last election, when lots of new independent candidates put up their hand, was that hundreds of thousands of voters changed their minds and voted for a change in who represented them in Parliament. That's how democracy is supposed to work. And it's proof that it can work. Every time Parliament sits, someone gets what they want. Every time there's a budget, someone gets what they want. The fact that so many people feel like it's impossible to get change or that we can't ever get the kind of change that we like actually helps the people who like things the way they are. So if you think it's time to change the direction of the country, if you think it's time that we could find more money to support community activities and less money to subsidise fossil fuels, if you want to get involved and change the way that our parliament is acting, then luckily there's a fantastic event coming up to help people who want to run in the next election or who want to get involved in campaigns to elect different kind of candidates so that our parliament can be more diverse, have more voices in it, and maybe change some of its priorities. Because never forget, in Australia apparently we can afford $11 billion a year in fossil fuel subsidies, we just can't afford to make housing cheaper for low income earners. We just can't afford to spend more on renewable energies. Of course we can afford to, it's just that the current people in Parliament have got priorities that are probably different from yours. So if you want to see the Parliament change, you're going to have to change yourself. You're going to have to get more involved in our democracy. Whether it's thinking harder about who to vote for, whether it's thinking about supporting a new candidate or a new political party, or simply just getting involved in community campaigns. If you keep doing what you're doing, then the parliament's going to keep doing what it's doing. We can only change our democracy if individuals change their behaviours and their priorities. So if you want to see change in the way our politics is working, if you want to see change in our nation's priorities, and if you'd like to hear more from people like me about this, well you're in luck. I'll be joining a webinar with Nicolette Buller, an independent candidate for Bradfield, to talk about the legacy of lies in our democracy and the role of community campaigns in the media. It's on Tuesday the 26th of March at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. See you there.